Kristen Heath from Premier Fitness. Today we've got a back workout planned. If you watched my last few back videos, this one's gonna be a little bit different. It's a timed workout, so you don't have to worry about counting reps or anything like that. You're gonna need a little bit of equipment. So just enough wall space for you to lean up against the wall. We're gonna be doing some slides and some rows. And you're going to need a towel. We're going to be doing towel pull downs with this. And preferably a water. All right, so let's get into the stretches and then we'll start up our workout. So wide arm rotations. If you can't do wide arm rotations, just do whatever you can. You can start backwards or forwards, doesn't matter. And if you find it easier, you get a better stretch, you could do one arm at a time. All right, now whatever direction you were doing, switch to the opposite one. So I'm gonna do forward now. And you can do a mix if you'd like, like I'm doing. Do both arms and then do each arm individually. All right, next we're gonna do an arm behind the back stretch. So clasp your hands together like this or like this, it doesn't matter. Then bring your arms up, however high you can. If you can't get them up this high, just do whatever you can, as long as you can feel that stretch. And keep moving. You don't want to hold it in place for too long. We don't want static stretches at the start of our workout. So keep it nice and dynamic. Try to relax your neck as well. connection for a second not sure where we lost it so we were doing behind the back stretch bring your arms up however high you can and just nice and dynamic keep stretching if you can't go up that high that's fine just make sure you're not holding it up there for too long keep it dynamic and try to keep your neck relaxed now we've got one more warm-up stretch and we'll get straight into our workout all right, so this last stretch, set on the floor on your heels if you can. If not, just sit down on your feet, sit however you can, it's comfortable. So we're gonna start with stretching our right hand side. So you're gonna extend your left arm out, put your right hand on the back of your head without putting pressure on it, you just rest it there. You're gonna bring your right elbow under your left arm and then come back up with your right arm. Feel the stretch in your back. And we'll do that five times on each side and repeat, do it five more times again. So face this way and shoulder. All right, the left side, extend the right arm, bring the left under and up. All right, and repeat that again. Right hand side. And left side, five times. All right, take a short rest. Catch your breath if you need to, drink some water. Now we're gonna get into the back workout. It's gonna be timed. So I'll be starting my phone with a timer on it. We're gonna be doing scapular push-ups. Don't worry if you can't do push-ups. It's not like a regular one, it's just like that. You can rest on your knees if you need to so you feel it less in your core and get to focus more on the back. Towel pull-downs and wall rows. And then we'll get into some wall slides at the end. All right, so we're gonna do those first three workouts six times. There'll be a rest in between. So let's get started. And if you hear beeping, 
That's just the time we're going. It beeps three times for the last three seconds. So when you hear those beeps, that's when you know the exercise is coming to an end. And let's get started. All right. So we're gonna start with the push-ups. All right. So rest on your knees if you need to. I find that you can feel it better in your back. You're just kind of gonna drop down with your upper back. Bring those shoulder blades together. And then push back up. Don't strain your neck during this. Just relax your neck. Bring those shoulder blades together. Push back up. Shoulder blades together, go down, push back up. And we're going to repeat this for the 40 seconds. All right. Now grab your towel. So we're going to be doing towel pull downs. Pull the towel nice and tight. Over your head, hold that tension. Bring it down to your chest. Push it back up. And you see how my arms are right at the sides. We're not swinging back too far or forward too much. Try to keep your neck relaxed. You don't want to be straining your neck. You're going to have to have your head back a little bit to bring the towel down. So you're not hitting your face, but don't be straining it back too much. Let's keep going. 10 more seconds of this exercise. All right, now we've got the wall rows. So you're going to lean up against the wall, back of your upper arm resting on the wall, and you're going to keep your body straight like a plank almost, and push off the wall, pivoting off of your elbows. Try not to let your elbows bounce off the wall. Keep contact with your elbows on the wall at all times. Feel it in your upper back right here when you push off the wall. And try to keep your body still. All right, 35 second rest, it went by fast. Take a drink of your water if you need to. All right, about 20 more seconds of this rest. We'll repeat that again five more times, and then we'll finish up with the wall slides. And I'll keep giving details on the movements as we're going through them. 10 more seconds, get ready to start those push-ups. All right, now if you'd like to, you can be in a regular push-up stance, drop down, push back up. I find that this way, you do feel it a little more in your core, in your abs. So if that is what you'd like, you can do it this way. But if you'd like to focus a little more on your back, I find that you feel it in your back more when you're resting on your knees instead. Yeah, your hands, just normal placement. 